Creating and submitting expenses in Avaza is easy. You can create expenses from any device, in any currency, and email receipts directly to your Avaza account. To get started, look for the Time and Expense tab and click Expenses from the dropdown. If you cannot see the Time and Expense tab, please contact your administrator so that they can assign you the appropriate role. The My Expenses page shows all expenses created by you and their statuses. You can reorder all expenses by clicking on the column title, for example, date or category. You can also filter expenses by status using this dropdown, or use the search box to find specific entries. To create a new expense, click on the Create Expense button. Let's go over some of the mandatory fields. Expense date. By default, this is set to the current date, but you can change it as you like. Expense Category Select an expense category here, for example, Meals. Your account admin can create more expense categories to match your business requirements. Currency Choose the currency the expense was incurred in. By default, this is set to your base currency. For expenses entered in a different currency than your base currency, Avaza will pull a relevant exchange rate. You can change this if needed. Amount Enter the expense amount. Tax Enter any applicable sales tax, and then select if the amount you entered is inclusive or exclusive of tax. At this point, you can click the Verify and Save button or Save Expense as a draft. Expenses in draft status are not made available for invoicing. This allows you to further edit them before verifying and submitting them. Let's look at some of the optional fields. Attach file. Attach a soft copy of a receipt or another relevant document. To do this, click the Browse button and select your desired file. This is a great way to digitize all your paper receipts and keep them safe in the cloud. If you are creating an expense from a smartphone or tablet, you can take a picture of the receipt directly from the Avaza app, or even attach files from your saved photos. Next, you can mark an expense chargeable or not chargeable. Chargeable expenses can be invoiced to a client at a later date. Please ask your account admin if you are unsure about which option to choose. It is mandatory to choose a customer if an expense is chargeable, otherwise you can still fill in this optional field if required. You can also select a project if required. You will only see projects and customer lists based on your project membership. Next, you can select a group or trip name for the expense. This is useful for reporting total expenses for specific work trips. A dropdown is available when a value already exists for this field. For example, trip to New Zealand. Or you can enter a new value to create it. Additionally, you can add a merchant name and tax number using these fields. Next, add any relevant notes or numbers in the Notes field. Use Save Draft if you need to make further changes at a later time, or click Verify and Save if you're done editing the expense. Expenses can also be created via email. Expenses created this way are automatically saved as a draft, and you can edit specific details at a later time. To start creating expenses via email, go to the My Expenses page and add this email address to your address book. Now, you can easily create expenses on the go by taking a photo of a receipt and sending it in an email to the address you just added. You will need to edit the draft expense to add the amount, tax, category, and customer information. If your account requires approvals for expenses, you can submit them by clicking the Submit for Approval button at the bottom of the My Expenses screen. Avaza will automatically send a notification email to the expense approver every time you submit an expense for approval.